What's up people, welcome back for another video on my channel and the topic of this video is going to be worrying about what other people think of you because I feel like this is something I had to deal with a lot growing up and I still have to deal with every day now and I'm sure everyone else has to deal with it because social media is very popular and dealing with the whole like like comment system it's really hard to like do your thing and share your thing without like everyone without hearing what everyone has to say and when none of that really matters all that matters is that like you're doing your thing and you're happy and I just I think it'd be really cool to share like a couple experiences that I had dealing with this and to like give a little bit of a little bit of advice on how I deal with it now. If I'm, I don't know if it's correct, but I'm just gonna share how I deal with it because I don't really let it affect my mentality or my mood. But aside from that, I'm also gonna take you through a quick hip and lower back stretch because mm, earlier this week I was doing RDLs on a not so flat surface outside because there's still no gyms open and I happened to tweak my lower back and but this stretch is gonna be helpful for everyone everyone that has like hip pain when they deep squat or everyone that has like lower back pain just from sitting down I know it's hard to admit it but a lot of people do so um this is really gonna help you with that but before that I'm gonna clean up make some breakfast I'm gonna take you with me to do that too so stay tuned Alright people, now that I've cleaned up and had a little breakfast, I think I'm ready to get into the topic of this video. I even put a little Carmax on. My lips all shiny so I ain't gotta lick my lips and I can share. So, I think the topic of worrying about what other people think of you is very important to cover because I think it's important to be selective about whose opinion and whose words do a lot affect your mood and mentality these days because like none of that really matters. The only thing that matters is that like you're happy about what you do and you wake up happy every day. That is much more difficult than it sounds. And growing up, this was something that was really difficult for me at first. But I remember specifically when I decided, like, I don't care what other people think anymore. I had a parent-teacher conference at school, and I didn't think my parents were going to show up. I didn't think my dad was going to show up because, like, I mean, I just I didn't even tell them, you know, because I don't I don't like want to put the pressure on them to come to those things. But lo and behold, like five minutes before my dad pops up, khakis on, but not ready, and it was like, all right, parent-teacher conference. I was like. Oh, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. And then went through the whole thing. It was awesome. And like five minutes before, he's like, let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. And I didn't understand. But as soon as we got outside, I saw like his bicycle and my bicycle. And I was like, like, we don't have a car. So it just made sense. And that like means he had to ride all the way to the school, like on his bicycle, carrying my bicycle on his shoulder. And then like, as soon as he got there, he must have like ran into the bathroom. And he, he like, cleaned up real quick and put on nice clothes so he can come to the meetings to look presentable and like that whole concept that whole like event just really blew my mind later when like the more I went over it and like we were riding across the bridge at nighttime on our bicycles with my dad and I was just like I was worried at first like everyone's gonna judge me like like the bro kid you know but like and then I, I I decided like I don't really care like I can't believe my dad came like I'm so happy that he would like do something for me like that and I was just so appreciative that like from that point on it's just I don't care it's us making it and you got to do what you got to do and it's just like the goal is to be happy and to wake up and do your thing and I think that's what we did and like how I got where I am and that's one of the most powerful lessons I learned growing up I really believe it is so I hope someone got something from that but after that I'm gonna move into this hip and lower back stretch because it's really important let's get it all right so now that I'm done talking to everything I'm gonna take you through these hip and lower back stretches like these stretches aren't anything new you've probably seen them all before but I'm gonna tell you the importance of them because a lot of people tend to neglect them and we're enjoying by Zorba anyway so we're gonna begin with the cat and the cow stretch which is where you arch your back upward and you arch your back downward and this is because you have to warm up the fluid in between the vertebrae in your spine every morning. If you tend to lift um, anytime before noon or before you like go out and walk or do any physical activity, then it's important to warm up this fluid because like when you first wake up, it's kind of cold and it's kind of stiff and that makes it, uh, I like, it, this increases the likelihood of you actually getting injured, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the stretch. First is the cat stretch. And then next is the stretch, the cow stretch. You 
can even go to the lower position. Go into this stretch. And that's basically it for the cat and the cow stretch. And then continuing on from that stretch, we're gonna go into a series of leg stretches that like releases a lot of stress on your lower back. Like everyone should do it before you go to sleep or like in the morning, or if you sit at your desk, just get up, lay on the floor and do this stretch real quick. All you need is a towel. The first part of the stretch is bringing the knee to the chest and just breathe. Just breathe. Oh. Put it on your foot, lean back again. Just breathe. And slowly pull your leg farther. You finish off by pulling both of these. Pull them as far as you can and spread your legs, try and pull your body like this. And this time, you reach back, you grab this leg, and you pull it forward. You understand? It's pulling this leg to your face, knee to face while pulling this leg, which opens up this hip. And breathe. We'll do the other side. I know that's not too action packed, so that's all for now. Just remember, you should do these stretches like before bed. Um, anytime you have any like lower back or hip pain, it really helps because like I recover pretty quickly. It's only been two or three days and I'm already pretty much fine. Some of the next videos will include exercises. But for now, we're gonna move on to, I'm gonna take Zora for a walk since she looked like she wanted to play. Let's go. 